took the day off work, hooked up the trailer, and headed down to Lowe's for some building supplies. Lowe's was my first choice because usually they have a better selection of paneling type products. Probably need a cart. I was thinking of Lowe's specifically because I was considering beadboard, but I wasn't sure that that was going to be practical because of how much lining up I'd have to do. be able to really match up the lines or that the lines will be plumb, parallel, vertical, whatever. Ooh, I kind of like this. Hmm. Of course the same problem as far as matching it up goes, but I do like that. This is kind of interesting. Hmm. I quite like this too. It's also like Melmain, which would no concern about matching up, and it would certainly clean up nice. And it's a whole lot cheaper. At only fourteen forty-eight a sheet. Um, oh, this is a plastic stuff. Hmm, this bends pretty easy. I'm not sure I like the pebbly bit though, but it certainly bends easy. Hmm. Wow, I really can't decide. I think I'm gonna have to go with this though, just because it's lighter color. I loaded up the panels onto the trailer. Um, Lowe's did not have the insulation I wanted the uh, XPS, I think it's called, something like that. Um, so I was gonna have to go to Home Depot anyway, which was kind of annoying, because it meant I had to load the panels, strap them down, and then once I got the insulation at Home Depot, I was gonna have to unstrap the panels, Deck mates are take a couple crap. of them off, put the insulation those. down, and then um, put the panels back on and strap them all down again. It's quite a process, it was a pain. Those are awesome. Yeah, the GRK. Expensive, but fine deck mates, it's a matter of you get what you pay for. There we go. Just 
general purpose screws will be fine. I think that's it. I think that's all we need. And here I am in the hole. Unload panels, load insulation, load panels, strap it all down, process. Headed home, and then once I got home, I unloaded everything into the marshmallow. Figured that was the best place to store it for now, uh, only because my garage is still pretty damp from the spring thaw. When I got done with all that, I decided to do a little bit of work on the van. Not a whole lot though. I got the uh, hinge box panels screwed into the 2x2s two that had been um, glued to the wall. I marked and cut the two insulation panels for the upper half of the main body of the van. I used caulking for the, the driver's side one, uh, specific caulking that's for insulation, and I don't think it's going to work at all. More on that <clears throat> in a little bit in the video. So, I got those screwed in, and I got the first panel up of insulation, but I really don't think that the Loctite caulking stuff I bought, that's specifically for this, is really going to work. Um, you have to mechanically like attach it to the wall for 24 hours while the stuff cures and I, there's no way for me to do that. Um, <clears throat> it does say brace the center of the panel so I've kind of sort of done that but I, I have a feeling it's I mean look it's not even there's no way to get it to stick to the wall. Uh, I'll have to try to find some sort of spray insulation that's like instant like a rubber cement type stuff dry on dry. Um, that won't burn this this uh, XPS because that's the problem with most adhesives is it melts this stuff. So we'll see how this goes. I'll leave it sitting for 24 hours. See what happens. Um, you know, if it it's not a big deal if it's really loose because the paneling's going to go over it anyway and the paneling's going to be tight against it. So the paneling will hold it in place, I guess. Um, you know, I'm just going to have to do the paneling right after the insulation and, and just get it all up. <clears throat> so, we'll see. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching. Um, 
today was just mostly driving to get stuff and driving back. That's what most of my day was. So um, I have a few more vacation days I have to take uh, and a couple personal days as well that I have to take before um, mid-June, end of June. So I'll be taking a few more days off here and there, one at a time, uh, to work on this. So, all right, again, thanks for watching. Have a great evening. Bye-bye. So the black flies may be out, but so is the chilium. And it's my absolute favorite wildflower.